Hello and welcome to our last episode in this short series on transformations. We last explored reflection as our third type of transformation, noting that there are abundant examples all around us. With our geometric shapes, we focused on identifying a mirror line that guides the position and orientation of the images our reflections generate. A vertical line gives us a backward image, and a horizontal line gives us an upside down effect. In this fourth episode, we will look at how dilation can alter our polygons. The word dilation is often used to describe an increase in diameter especially in biology. For example, the pupil in our eye can dilate to allow more light in when we are in low light environments. In geometry, we use the word to describe how we can increase or decrease the size of a shape. So this type of transformation describes how an object expands or shrinks, but otherwise leaves it unchanged. We can be very specific about how much we want to alter a shape. We measure the change in size of our shape using a scale factor. As all changes relate to our original figure, it is given a starting scale factor of 1. We can increase the size of our starting image from there by any value greater than 1. This hexagon was scaled up by 1.6 times. When we want to reduce the size of our figure, we scale it by a fraction or decimal less than one. In this example, it was two-fifths, or 0.4, or 40%. We can grow the image as large as our imagination will allow, but can't shrink it to nothing, although it could get very small. Let's look at some examples with our grid lines so we can see how we could quite easily figure out the scale factor of our shapes. Here's a triangle we'll increase in size, and then shift only so it's easier to see. We can look at any edge of the object and compare the change in the length to determine the scale factor. Here, for example, line AB in blue from our original figure is two squares. Our image in orange has grown to four squares. We can use division to compare the ratio of each side, and we find four divided by two equals two. This means the image is two times bigger, and therefore increased by a factor of two, or 200%. Here's an image that's been reduced. We can apply the same method to determine its scale factor. This time, the image side AB is only one square, so one divided by two is one half. So our image now decreased in size by a half, or 0.5 or 50%. This last image shows how a point can be used to generate lines that would show our images at many different magnifications. Once again, something to try with geometry graphing software. Dilation describes objects increasing or decreasing in size. These changes can be measured by using a scale factor. There are many examples of dilation. Engineers and architects use scaled-down models to design structures. Artists alter the scale of all kinds of things. We can use scale factors to make comparing challenging numbers easier. We can make Earth the factor of 1 and relate all other planets by their dilation. For example, Jupiter's diameter is just about 11 times that of the Earth, while Mars is about one half. This draws an end to our time with transformations. We hope you have gained some new understanding of how shapes can be altered and that you continue to connect your new understanding with things you explore around you. Thank you for joining us.